Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare a video on multi sheet template in a BI tool or Oracle Fusion. Okay, in my last video, I already uploaded some of the videos based on the Excel template. So, in this video, we are going to see the Excel template, but here we are going to see how to represent the data into the multiple sheet. Previously, we had seen the videos based on the simple Excel template and drill down into the Excel template. Okay. Before starting, I just want to tell you that if you are new on my channel, please like, share, subscribe my channel for the latest update. If you want to see the other videos also based on the Excel template, you can refer the Fusion playlist. So starting with the topic, just I am going to my Oracle Fusion instance first. So I am on the catalog page of my Oracle Fusion instance. So here what we have to do, we have to create the multi sheet template. For that what we require, we require to create some data model first so i will write all the required step on one notepad so this is my notepad and i am writing here all the required steps so we are doing here the multi sheet template so i am writing the heading first multi sheet template in oracle fusion okay so our first step is create the data model create the data model okay so what we will do, we will create the data model based on one query. Okay, so I am just writing here the query. So I had pasted one query over here, which I already used in my previous videos also. So what we are doing here, just uh, it is a select query. So I am selecting some of the columns from the A table that is nothing but the PO headers all. And there is an, one, another table that is in PO lines all. And we are just making the join between that particular table that is an PO header ID and the PO header ID from the lines table and here I had given one additional query that is a row num less than 20 because I want to fetch the limited amount of data okay so the same query I'm just copying and I'm going back to my catalog page and here I will go to the new and there is a data model so I have to click on the data model so it will open one new page for us where we can create the data model my data model screen is open now i have to generate the data set for that i am just clicking on this plus icon then here is an sql query then we have to give some name for this sql query so i am just giving is an po header query then after here we have to choose the data source so my data source is fusion db i am selecting here then after I have to paste that query. So I'm just pasting the same query and I will just click on OK. So it will create one data set for me. OK, then we will again create one another data set. So I'm just clicking on the plus icon. Then here is an SQL query. So he, this is the line data. So that's why I will write here the heading as a line query. OK, then again, I'm giving the data source as a fusion DB and just I'm writing one query that select star from po underscore lines underscore all so what we are doing we are fetching the data of po lines all just i am clicking on ok button so the second group is also created now what is the thing here we are having the join okay so i will go back to my screen and i will write here the another query that which we had written query 2 and i will make this as a query 1 so what is my query that is an select star from PO line all. Okay, now I'm going back to my catalog page. So here is my group G1 and he, this is my group G2. So G, G1 is for the header region and this is for the lines region. So what we have to do, we have to edit. We have to edit one column name because here also we are having the PO header ID and here also we are having the PO header ID. I'm just going to the structure box over here and here is my group G1. So I don't want to make any change in G1. So I'm just minimizing it and this is my G2. So in G2 there is an PO header ID. So we have to give some alias name for that. Okay. So what I will do, I will just find first where is my PO header ID. So this is my PO header ID. So what I will do, I will just remove the underscore from this and from this also. So this is the my XML tag and this is my actual column name. Okay. So here is an XML tag and display name. Okay. Now what I will do, 
I will just save this changes. So I am just clicking on save button. So it will ask us to save the entire data model. You can save it into the my folders also. You can save it into the shared folder also. So I am saving it to shared and this is my excel template report so i will just give the name as a multi sheet underscore excel underscore template i am just copying the same name into the description section also and i will just click on the ok button so you can see that this is saved here is an saved ok now again i am going to the diagram now what we have to do we have to create one link between this PO header all and this PO line all means header table and the line table so here is an PO header ID so I am just clicking on this setting icon and here is an a create link so automatically it will open the list of the all the columns which are present in my G2 so I have to find here the name same name that is PO header underscore ID so this is my PO header underscore ID. So I'm just clicking the checkbox and I will just click on OK. So you can see that the link is generated. Now I have to save this data model again. Then I have to go to data. Then here I have to click on view. Then I have to click on save as sample data. Why we have to do this? Because I have to create the report for it. Okay, so my sample data is also saved. Now what I have to do, I have to just create the report. So I am just clicking on the create button. So it will redirect me on to the create report wizard page. But I don't want to create the report using any type of a wizard. So what I will do, I will just cancel this. So I am just clicking on the cancel button and here is the OK. Now here is an option to upload the data model. So first I will just click the search icon and I will upload my data models. My data model name is in a multi sheet excel template. So I will just double click on this and you can see that it is uploaded. Okay. Now here we are just creating the template based in excel. So for that I am just opening one blank sheet with the extension dot xls. Okay. So this is my blank sheet. So my first step is done. Now I will write the second step that is create the excel template okay so we have to create the excel template so in my last videos only i had already told you that how to create the excel template so by using the same way i will create here the excel template so i am writing po header and id okay so this is my po header id then second thing what we have to do we have to give the respective tag for it so how to represent the tags in the excel template so for writing the column level tags we are having one syntax column tag xdo underscore then we have to give the question mark then column name then again we have to give the question mark okay so this is for the column tag but if you want to write the group tag group tag then what will be the syntax that is an xdo underscore group underscore then question mark and then group name and then again there is a question mark okay so this is for the column tag and this is for the group tag now we have to create the group tags first of all we will do one thing we will just download the sample data for this data model so uh, what I will do, I will open the catalog page and uh, here is on my multi sheet excel template. So I will just go to edit. It will open our data model. So this is my data model. So here again I will go to data. Here I will click on view. And here I will click on export. So as soon as I click on export, it will download one XML file for us. So see, I had opened it into the browser. So uh, we had taken this particular three columns into the header section and all other columns are from the line sections because we had taken the star over there. From this header section, we will just print one column that is PO header ID. So I'm just copying this. I will go to the multi sheet Excel template and here what is our tag that is an XDO underscore question mark then column name then again question mark. Okay, so this is my tag. 
so now next group we will take from the line table so we will take first column as an PO line ID okay so here again we have to check that what is our XML column name so here is an PO line ID okay so I am just copying this going back to the Excel template again writing the same xdo underscore question mark then there is a column name then there is a one more question mark the next column we will take from the list as unit price so I am just copying the unit price again going here writing the same syntax xdo underscore question mark then column name and question mark the next column we will take that is quantity so I am just copying the name xdo underscore question mark then there would be name then again one question mark okay so this is the unit price so I am writing unit price and this is the quantity so this is done okay so we will take this much of the columns only we will just format some columns over here just I am changing the colors here I am just writing one header that is PO detail multi sheet template on second line I will just write my channel name that is an technical talks with nourish okay so I will just format it and give one color increasing some size doing some basic formatting so you can see here my formatting is approximately done now we had created the text now what we have to do we have to create the name mapping for it so I am just clicking on this tag then here is an, a formula and here is an, a name manager so I am just clicking on the name manager we have to add the name manager so I am just clicking on new it will automatically take the same name and just I have to click on ok button so my name mapping is created then for this tag I have to create the name mapping so again click on name manager new and then click on ok and same thing I am doing for the unit price tag and same I will do for the xdo tag okay so see that in my list there are four respective name mappings because we are having the four tags now what I have to do I have to do the group tagging for this entire row so I am just selecting this entire row that is from B10 to that is in a D10 and I will just click on this name manager now we have to create the new name mapping so for group I already mentioned you the syntax the syntax is xdo underscore group then question mark then we have to give the group names so first we will check the what is the group name so it is an a g underscore 2 so what I will do I will just copy the same and we will paste it here and then again one question mark then I will click on ok so you can see my fifth tag is also generated ok but what we had done we had just missed that underscore one more underscore we will needed here so that underscore I am just adding and clicking on ok again so now you can check that all the groups are perfect so yes all are correct now what I will do I will just close it and I will save this template okay the template is saved now second thing what we have to do we have to add one more sheet so in that sheet what we have to do we have to add some rows which I already mentioned in my previous video so I am just copying all that rows here as it is so I just copied the rows so this data we have to insert here then we have to do the multi sheet template okay so for that we have to write some additional rows over here so what are that row so I will again paste something here so what I am writing here xdo underscore sheet underscore question mark so on which particular respective variable we have to split this particular sheets that we have to write here and this is the xdo sheet name so what the sheet name we have to give for that sheet in my xml what we are having this is the tag group g2 okay and this is the tag that is in a group g1 okay so what i have to do 
when the new particular g1 tags appear then it have to split it into the new excel sheet okay so what i will do i will write the syntax so for that we are having one specific syntax so it is opening bracket then dot then double slash then we have to give the group name that is then again we have to give the question mark and then the bracket close and enter okay so this is my syntax so based on this group g1 it will split the file and if you want to give any specific name to your report so you can write that also so i am just writing one tag over here so what we are doing so just i am just concatenating that is in a po number so this is the hard coded value because it is passed into the single code so po number and there here we are passing the po header id so from where we are taking this po header id so here is my po header id column name so it will give the name of that po header number to that column okay so this sheet we had created now just i have to save this sheet again and for this sheet too i have to rename it so i am just writing xdo underscore meta data okay so i had renamed the sheet also so this is my sheet one and this is my sheet two okay so now i am just saving it again and i am going to my catalog page so here is my catalog and here is my report so now i will just upload the template so template i will give the name as a multi sheet multi underscore sheet underscore template then here i had just attached the template then i am selecting the template type that is an excel template so i am just selecting the excel and the local the local is nothing but the english so i am selecting english and click on the upload button so you can see that the excel template is uploaded now i have to save this particular report so i am just clicking on the save button and here we have to give the detail i am again giving the same name that is a multi sheet excel and this is the report so i am just writing rpt copying the same name into the description section also and i will just click on the okay button so you can see that it is saved now if i want to view this output so i have to just click on the view report button so it will open one prompt after it completes it will automatically download for excel template the output once comes on the screen it will download it so i will just open the excel template which is downloaded okay so you can see that this is my excel template so this is having the multiple sheets so here we are having the po number as an po2050 so it is having same name that is po underscore 2050 then this is in a 2144 so it is also 2144 and so on so these are nothing but the respective multi sheet template we are having here multiple templates so this is my last report and we can able to see the xdo metadata also so if you don't want to let the user to see this metadata sheet so you can just hide it into the template and you can reupload the template and rerun that report so it will get hide so by this way we had seen that or how to create the multi sheet template in the oracle fusion okay by the same way you can also create the multi sheet template into the oracle r12 also the template creation process is same for the r12 and the fusion okay in next video we are going to see that what is sandbox and how it will works thank you for watching please like share subscribe my channel technical talks with naresh thank you